Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Tia Zamara here and in today's video I am going to be applying and reviewing this wig that I am currently wearing. It is from the Sensational Cloud9 What Lace Collection. She was $52 and some change from samsabeauty.com. It only took about four days to get to me after the day that I ordered it. Literally ordered it on a Sunday and it shipped out the next day and got to me on Thursday, baby. Come on. <laughs> We're working, <laughs> pandemic or not. You wanna hear about Miss Letitia and see how I apply her, then keep on watching. This is the packaging that it came in. Um, honestly, you guys, it took everything inside of me to not actually fully open this up and reveal it. Um, I did feel the texture of the hair, but y'all, if it weren't for me having a busy week, Maybe I would have already been in this wig before this video. So of course, typical, typical, the um, tag with the name, instructions, construction, different colors um, that it comes in. Honestly, if this wig is hitting you guys, I will <laughs> be purchasing this wig in other colors. Okay. Ah, so excited. Okay, so straight off the bat, you guys, um, let me go ahead and remove this tag too, child. I'm excited for this one. Straight off the bat, um, lace is exactly what I expected. They claim for this to be HD lace, and quite honestly, there's levels to the lace these days. Although this lace is great, I have to put out there that it's not the actual HD lace that we get with our bundles nowadays. However, this is a huge step up from that plastic, itchy lace that normally comes on um, synthetic wigs. So this, I will say, this has this is the HD lace of synthetic wigs. This is the queen. This is what is going to give us a seamless application. It has a very natural texture, you guys. I absolutely love this texture. The curls are nice and bouncy. It does come with two combs in the front, one comb in the back. Of course, the adjustable straps. Typical wig construction. It does look a little bit small, a little bit snug. Um, you know. We gonna see how it do, we gonna see what it do. Hopefully it's big head friendly. Um, the lace, um, I guess this is six inches. I'm not about to measure it, but it says 13 by six, and you know we love deep parting. Let's just get to applying this. I already have my ball cap on, as you guys see. If you need a tutorial on that, you know your girl got you. Okay. <laughs> All right. It doesn't honestly look like it is the most big head friendly. Um, I'm gonna have to do a lot of like extra stretching to get it to actually cover, um, you know, my ball cap. So yeah, my head is about 23 inch circumference. So keep that in mind, you guys. They say that there is a pre-plucked hairline um it doesn't seem to be as pre-plucked as some of the other wigs that i've seen them come out with the parting goes so far back you guys oh i love it all right so i cut my wig cap just a little bit and so now my edges are a little bit out but luckily we aren't using any type of actual lace glue i was using got to be glue to apply this wig so we should be good
guys, so this is Miss Letitia, baby. I am speechless. Like, okay, I don't even know where to start. Not only is this what lace, but this is what synthetic, okay? This wig is giving me life. Like, first of all, the texture is just like so realistic. I just can't, okay, all right, let me bring it together. Let's hit on some actual points, all right? Boom. So, first things first, it's giving 24-26 curled. I did think that it was going to be a little bit longer because the people that I watched, it was kind of coming like past their boobs, like wow, it was still curled, but maybe they just brushed it out more. I'm not willing to really brush it out too much at this particular time. Give me about a week or two of wearing it like this and I'll definitely be able to really see what length is given. Make sure you're following me on Instagram to see any kind of updates with this hair because my next few posts will be featuring this hair. Um, now the next thing I have to say is the, the it's, it's not big head friendly. Um, I would, my head, my circumference is 23 inches. I think this is about 21 and a half, I wanna say, um, because I couldn't quite, maybe 22. Um, because I couldn't quite get it all the way from ear to ear, but it is still sitting at a comfortable spot to where my real hair isn't peeking through too much. And even if it is, it matches the texture of this hair, so it doesn't even matter. I haven't got any shedding from this wig so far. I know I just put it on, but you know, if it was a bad wig, baby, she would have been shedding, okay? She would have gave me one or two or three or four or five hairs, and I haven't really got any shedding. Now, I already showed you guys the construction of the hair, so you see that it's not 13 by 6, you know, straight across like a normal frontal would be. It's only 13 by 6. It's only 6 inches back in this parting area, which I gotta give it to them. I gotta give it to them. The parting is great. I feel like, um, you know, I didn't want to pluck any of the actual part because this is actually how a natural part would look. Um, it's not super perfect. It's not, you know, too wide. It's just right. Um, also, the top portion of the hair is a lot straighter than the bottom curls, which again, you guys may have seen that when I first took it off the pack. Um, and so you do need to be a little bit careful with brushing out the top curls because you don't want it to, you know, just be limp in the front. Um, my hot comb, I only I, I don't know what temperature it goes up to because it is an electric hot comb and it doesn't have a dial on it it just has an off and on switch I assume that it goes up to maybe 450 um and it, I can't turn it down from that so I was trying to be really really careful and not burn anything but it actually held up very well like there was no kind of like shriveling down like you know melted plastic or anything and it says that this can be heated up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit normally you don't want to take it all the way up to 400 you want to be at that 300 350 range because you do not want this baby to melt I really only plucked like right up here by the part just because that's a personal preference I like it to be a little bit thin in that area um and yeah, the edges, they could definitely use some more plucking, but I feel like it all just can get a pass for me because of the hair texture. Like the normal person with this hair texture wouldn't have super thinned out edges anyways. They would be a little bit thick. Now from far away where you guys are sitting at, they look kind of thick. Um, kind of straight edges edge ish but um I feel like it's not that bad um and I just don't feel like doing all that plucking anyways that's why I bought a pre-plucked wig okay so um it's just gonna have to do what it do now woo! <laughs> baby she's sitting I don't think there's anything else for me to say about her. Y'all see what she's giving. Like, come on now. Um, I will say, of course, if you are watching this for the first time, so, of course, there is tracks right here because, like I said, it does not go back all the way with the 13 by 6. The 13 across the ear, 6 all the way back. It only goes 6 all the way back 
just about this much down the middle. Now, obviously, she needs some working with to make her a little less, you know, professional looking for me personally. But I feel like this is perfect Valentine's Day style. This is perfect, you know, date night style. I would pluck it a little bit more over here if I was to do this style just so that I can put it behind the ear. But as you guys can see, you can really play with the parting a lot even with the little room that you kind of do have in the six inch back portion just some tips maybe for it i probably if i were you and i wanted to keep on to this for a long period of time i definitely would not sleep in this hair i definitely would not try to put too much heat on this hair i definitely wouldn't keep brushing out the curls unless you are going for a more loose but still textured curl kind of look so yes, that is Letitia for your girl. Um, she is giving me life. I'm getting ready to go take some pictures with her because baby, this don't make no sense. Okay, so that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed our special guest, Letitia. <laughs> make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that you have your notification bell turned on because we are now in the style series. And, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.